Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about a handful of interesting facts, details, and things you need to know about stuff going on in Grand Theft Auto Online, and we're going to begin with the Invade and Persuade RC tank that Rockstar actually added on Christmas Day. There's an interesting fact about this that you might not have known about, and it could actually save your life. So if you've taken the RC tank into the Los Santos Custom Shop, one of the things that you might have noticed is that there's no way to adjust the armor on the tank. It's just one setting that it doesn't have. However, the RC tank can actually be fitted with 100% armor through an exploit, which actually makes it twice as durable against explosives and homing rockets which is crazy. So normally the RC tank would be able to survive four homing rockets being destroyed on the fifth. However, if you were able to get it with 100% armor, it would be able to survive eight homing rockets and get destroyed on the ninth. Now, luckily for us, there's actually a telltale difference between ones that have the 100% armor and ones that don't. So here's how you can tell the difference. If you see an RC tank with missing barrels on the back, it likely has 100% armor. Now, also, in case you guys are wondering how you go about doing this, at first, I thought it had something to do with the iFruit app or maybe Charles, which is another method in which you can usually modify vehicles and whatnot. But apparently, it doesn't work with either of those, with iFruit or Charles. You can't get it to show up. So if I had to take a guess, I would say that this is done with some sort of merge glitch where you can end up storing the RC tank in your personal garage, but I don't actually know how to go about doing that. So if you do, maybe you could try it with this, but this is just a simple word of warning that with the barrels, you know for a fact it has not been modified. And if you don't see the barrels on the back, uh, you can tell that it might have 100% armor. So if you see it around in free roam and you know that it doesn't have those barrels on the back, you might just want to head in the opposite direction because that's a huge difference. You know, going from four to eight to destroy this little tank, I mean, that is a huge difference right there. So just something to keep in mind there that you might not have known about with the free invade and persuade tank. Now, something else that's kind of interesting, it looks like this was a cut feature from the Diamond Casino Heist, level three and four access cards can be found in the files. This comes from insider Tez Funds 2, who says, I found out there are level three and four access cards in the files, but levels one and two cards are the only ones usable. It would have been cool if there was a rare event that gives you level three cards. You know the security doors inside the vaults, they require level three access cards. Imagine if you could just swipe a card and access the locked room. And you guys can see there, level three access is this yellowish orange gold color, and level four access is this blackish slate color. And the numbers are exact same on the bottom, although I don't think that actually means anything because it's so small, like you would only really be able to see it if you were in first person. Now, a lot of people were actually wondering about those level four cards because some people were reporting that the level four cards were used during the Big Con group sex entrance to open the elevator door in the loading bay. However, Insider Tez Funds 2 says that there is no prep mission for level three or four cards. He says, in fact, the heist itself doesn't have doors that requires level three or four. So that's why I'm almost kind of thinking that maybe Rockstar could almost do like a part two to the heist update or not even necessarily a part two to the Diamond Casino Heist, but as new updates get introduced, if there are more, they could just continually add stuff. Like they could add more content into the vaults. So right now we have diamonds, gold, artwork, and cash. Maybe Rockstar could add other types of jewels or valuables inside of the vault, and they could add different level access cards from prep missions that you could go on, thus making the missions easier, or you know, getting loot that's rare, locked behind harder to access doors. And in case you guys are wondering if you somehow are able to get the level three and four passes, what would happen? Well, Insider Test Funds 2 says that they are scrapped. Even if you somehow got them, they won't work. So what that basically means is that Rockstar haven't programmed them into the game. 
So even if you could get your hands on them again, they won't work. So this is something to keep an eye on for the future. Just because it's added in this update doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be used in the future. Again, it's just something to keep an eye on. Now, speaking of the contents inside of the vault, a lot of you guys have been asking me, what is the actual percentage chance that you get for cash, artwork, and gold? The three loot items that you can currently get outside of the vault. Well, Insider Test Funds 2 confirms what that is. Cash, you have a 44.4% chance of getting. Artwork, you have a 33.3% chance of getting. And gold, you have a 22.2% chance of getting. So I'm sure you guys figured out that that equals 99.9%. .9%, and I'm sure that Rockstar did this on purpose because it is close enough to 100%. And I'm almost confident that diamonds, when they eventually are added, are going to have more than a 0.01% chance to be claimed. So I think that once they are added, those percentages will change. They might knock down the percentage of cash, artwork, and gold a little bit. Diamonds are definitely going to be the rarest when they are added. But uh, for now, those are the 3% that you can get uh, on artwork, cash, and gold. Now, a few more quick tips and changes that you might not have known about. One thing that Rockstar did that I didn't know about up until now is that they changed how the lucky wheel works. Now you only get one spin per character. So even if you have two characters, which I do, you only get one spin between them. The way it worked before this update is that each character got their own individual spin meaning that you could spin the lucky wheel technically twice per day. You could just swap to one character or another. Now you actually can't do this. This appears to be the new normal. And also, if you win the car on one character, it won't appear for your other character until a few days later. So I guess Rockstar is trying to cut down on maybe some of the glitches or ways that you can win using the lucky wheel because I guess by doing this, they basically cut your chances of winning in half. And I guess at the end of the day, that's what Rockstar wants. Uh, I think this is a little bit lame. I don't really see a need to limit spinning the lucky wheel. It, it should be fun. If you win a car, that's awesome. But apparently Rockstar wants to limit how many times that you can ultimately spin. I found this to be pretty cool. If you're using the master control terminal inside of your arcade business, you can actually register as a CEO or an MC president directly from passive mode. That's pretty cool. So typically if you're in passive mode, you have to leave passive mode before you can start uh, being a CEO or a biker club president. But with the master control terminal, you can sort of bypass that. So that's pretty convenient. Doesn't really save you a lot of time, just a couple of steps. It's a nice little quality of life thing. And this is something that I've known about for a bit, but apparently some people don't. It turns out that you can actually get one supercar to spawn in a specific location in free roam. And that is the Trufade Adder, which for a long time, back in like 2013, 2014, was like the king of the streets. Like everyone wanted the Adder. And it's funny because it's in the same location where an Adder will actually spawn in single player, but you can do so in online. Now, if you drive past it in an Adder, you can get one to spawn. However, you can't actually keep it. If you try to bring it to the Los Santos Custom Shop, it'll say, you know, this vehicle is too hot to modify. So you can't keep it, but it's a cool way to get another adder to spawn in free roam, which is something you might not have known about. That definitely brings back a lot of good memories because I remember like back in the first month or two of online, that was like my goal, get a million dollars so I could buy an adder because everyone that was cool had an adder. And I like was struggling to get money. So all my friends had these cool supercars and I didn't. And now it's like the Adder isn't even one of the good supercars that you can get. But back in 2013, it was the best. And it was a lot of fun to like achieve getting that. And so finding one of these in free roam just kind of makes me laugh a little bit. But anyways, that right there is a couple of things that you might not have known about in Grand Theft Auto Online, including some huge changes that Rockstar have ultimately made. Again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the changes they've made so far. Do you agree with them? Do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. 
And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.